Hello. All right, so uh, we are dealing with algebraic fractions, chapter 9. So today's objective is how algebraic fractions can be multiplied and divided. So uh, to multiply the algebraic fraction together, we multiply their numerators and their den denominators together, right? <coughs> so here, A is the numerator of the first algebraic expression, let's say that C is another, so you multiply them to together, right? So you multiply them together. And similarly, B and D are denominators, so you multiply denominators, right? So an, a simple example. So what do we get? Well, I have 4 and x, so it, it's going to be 4x here denominator 5 and y, so it's going to be 5y, right? Another quick example, here it's 4 over x multiplied by 3y over 16. Uh, so, well, <coughs> what I can do is here, so it's like 4 times 3y, and here it's x times 16, right? But 16, I can write it as 4 times 4. Why am I doing this? Why? Well, because now I can cancel out, right? So then I get here 3y. In the denominator, I have 4x. Yes, we can write it as x4, but uh, it's customary to write 4 in front of the uh, x, so letters, yeah? Okay. Now, more examples. So, simplify 1 over 2 times x. Well, what is 1 over 2 times x? Well, 1 over 2 is a, a fraction, algebraic expression. How about this x in here? Well, I can write it as x divided by 1, right, always. So then we see that 1 times x, so here I have an x. Here I have a 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, how about here? Well, we do the same thing here, right? Regard this as a plus b as a plus b divided by 1. And then we see that, uh, so this a plus b becomes a numerator that gets multiplied by 1 here. So my numerator becomes simply a plus b. You can write the brackets, but uh, since it's a single term, I don't have to, right? Uh, in, in the denominator is 2 times 1, so this is 2. Okay, how about here? Well, uh, so here is 4x squared times 3x cubed, right, numerators, and denominator is y times y times z. So I don't see anything to cancel, so what is it? So 4 times 3 is 12, x squared and x cubed. What happens if the base is identical? I add the exponents, right, indices, 2 plus 3, so it becomes x to the power, 2 plus 3 is 5. I do not multiply, it's not 6. Here, y times y is y squared, and then I multiply by z, okay? So simplify 5 times x minus 3 divided by 25. Well, we see that, uh, again, write 5 as 5 over 1, and then 5 becomes my numerator, right? So here is 5 times x minus 3. How about the denominator? It's 1 times 25, that's a 25. But I can write 25 as 5 times 5 because I know that 5s are common, so they cancel out. As a result, here I got x minus 3 divided by 5. Okay. How about here? Well, minus plus, here is plus minus, so minus remains. And then what I have is 1 times 3x minus 4, so it's 3x minus 4. 5 times 8 is 14. Right? Okay. Let's do quicker, faster. So a times b is ab in here. And here I get a plus b times 5a squared. A squared I can write as a times a. So then a is cancel. What I got? Here I get b, here I get a plus b 5. So again, I can take out 5 in the front, so 5 uh, a a plus b. 
or you can leave it as a plus b times 5 times a. That's also fine. Okay, a little more complicated. Uh, so, <clears throat> x squared plus 4x plus 3. So here, uh, I can do it like 3 and 1. So if you multiply 3 by 1, this is 3. If you add, you get 4. So it means I can factor out the first expression as x plus 3 times x plus 1. And then I have x plus 4 term coming from the second expression, right, here. How about here? Well, uh, in here I have this common term 2, right? If I take out, then I get x plus 4 term left here. And then x plus 1 term coming from second denominator, so I have x plus 4. Why did I do all these things? Because I see many cancellations. So x plus 1 cancels x plus 1. x plus 4 cancels x plus 4, right? Unless you factorize, you don't see, right? So, what is left in the numerator? x plus 3. What is left at the bottom? It's 2. All right. How about division, right? If you have an algebraic expression a over b, some complicated expression, and they have you want to divide by c over d, we, we know that uh, Division becomes a multiplication uh, by reversing the second, right? So C over D becomes D over C, right? So reversing or inverting, however you call it. Uh, a quick example here. So what we do, 10A, sorry, sorry. Uh, 10A divided by B, that's my first. Second one becomes, uh, 3b divided by a square, right? Then I have multiplication. Now, I see that a's cancel, but let's, let's uh, be a, a bit slower. So 10a, 3b, here I have b times a times a, right? So I see that a's cancel, b's cancel. So I left with, at the top I get uh, 10 times 3, which is 30. At the bottom, I have just a left. One more, one last example. Okay, x square. Here I get x square y cube divided by z. Let's write that multiplication by inverting the second term. So it becomes x or y. Then, what do I have? I have, a, okay, I have, if you multiply the numerators, you get x cube y cube. Here I have z and y. Now, what is y cube? y cube is y times y times y. So I, I can cancel uh, one of the y's from the top with one of the y's from the bottom, right? So then here I would get like y square left, right? Two of the y's left. Hence, what do I get? I get x cube y square. Here I get z. Uh, 